we're always looking for that next best thing, right? We're always looking for ways to improve whatever we're doing. We're always looking for that next little piece of cutting edge science that we need to take it to the next level. Well, what I'm going to give you in this video is five surefire ways to accelerate your fast. And I'm not talking like harebrained random fat loss stuff. I'm talking about true scientific data that can actually help you get more out of your fast. So without further ado, five ways to accelerate the heck out of your intermittent fasting regimen. But hey, you are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel. New videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, and a bunch of other videos in between. Please make sure you hit that little bell icon because it will help you turn on notifications so you can get a little ping on your phone every single time I post a new video that's gonna help you out. All right, so let's get down to it. Without further ado, the first one is high intensity interval training during your fasting period. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, that's a little extreme, right? Okay, I want you to flip everything that you know about kind of fat loss and all this stuff on its head for a second. Because the whole purpose of fasting is to actually put stress on your body. The stress is what's helping you burn fat. The stress is what's helping you adapt. The stress is what's helping you gain benefit. So we actually want a hard workout. We want to trigger more of that stress. You see, it all comes down to catecholamines. That's the operative word here. I talk about it all the time, right? Catecholamines are things like adrenaline and norepinephrine and epinephrine. The things that we normally think are bad, but they're actually good. You see, the epinephrine, the adrenaline, that stuff, that actually stimulates lipolysis. That triggers fat burning to occur. And that's exactly why when we're fasting, we have so much fat loss. Because adrenaline increases because we're stressed out, because we're not eating, at least physiologically, maybe not mentally. Now, when it comes down to high-intensity interval training, we're doing the same thing. We're triggering stress on our bodies. So we want that quick, acute stress that's going to allow us to burn more fat. Now, there was a study that was published in the Journal Amino Acids that puts this into perfect context. You see, they took test subjects and they had them perform six-second intervals with 30-second rest periods. And what they found was really interesting when they compared that to a control group that was just doing steady-state cardio. You see, during the time of their intervals, they had an increase of plasma epinephrine levels by 6.3x. So, 6.3-fold increase in plasma epinephrine levels and even more when it came to norepinephrine. Norepinephrine, they had an increase of 14.5x. So, huge, huge increases when it came down to their adrenaline response. And guess what? They had a progressive increase with every single interval that they did. So for each time they did an interval, they had more of a catecholamine response, meaning ultimately they were burning more fat. But things get even cooler. You see, we have more adrenaline receptors in our abdomen than anywhere else in the body, which means that we have more potential to burn specific belly fat through fasting and high intensity interval training. So you don't need much time. You could trigger a lot of stress in a short amount of time during your fast. So you just need five or 10 minutes during your fast and it's a surefire way to accelerate your intermittent fasting. All right, now let's move on to number two. Okay, this is an interesting one because it's none that I normally wouldn't be talking about too much, and that's increasing your protein intake during your eating window. You see, it all comes down to the thermic effect of food. You see, the Journal of Obesity published a study, took a look at 12 test subjects, and what they had these subjects do is swap out some of their calories for a 30% increase in protein. So their calories were the same, they just swapped out where they had 30% more protein than they were having before. So what they ended up finding at the end of the study is that when they increased protein, they ended up having an increase between 10 and 14 and a half percent when it came down to their thermic effect of food. So their metabolism basically increased significantly because their core body temperature elevated to break down the protein. Now this is kind of old science, okay? We do know that protein allows you to, you know, get a little bit more of that metabolic effect. And it simply comes down to the fact that it's harder to break down. About 20% of the calories that you actually consume from protein end up being devoted just to the digestion of said protein. So again, it's kind of old science, but when it's applied in an intermittent fasting way, you get a double whammy effect. You do need a little bit more protein at the end of your fast because you've gone the whole day without having protein. So if you want to maintain some muscle, sure, you need a little bit of protein. So you might as well have a little bit more and also get the fat burning effect. So what I would recommend doing is swapping out some of your carbohydrates for a little bit more protein if you're not doing keto. And if you're doing keto, maybe add in about 15% more protein, but still keep your fats nice and high too. Don't worry too much about calories. It is not as applicable at the end of an intermittent fasting day as it is on a normal diet day. The third way to accelerate your fast is one that you should not ever go without, and that is utilizing green tea. 
Green tea in an unsweetened state during your fast is one of the most powerful ways to improve autophagy. You see, autophagy is that cellular recycling. It's where cells take old components of themselves and recycle them, consume them, so that the cell becomes stronger. Now, the journal PLOS1 published a study that found that with green tea, hepatic autophagy increased. There was an increase in what are called autophagosomes in the liver. Okay, just by adding green tea, now when you couple that with fasting, which already improves autophagy, you have a double whammy, powerful effect at getting a little bit more autophagy out of yourself. Now, it doesn't just stop there, because autophagy is great for longevity. We all love that. We all love feeling stronger, being cleaner, being healthier. But it gets even better. You see, there is an improvement in what's called lipid clearance. And what this lipid clearance was, was basically the body's mobilization and movement of fat, specifically through the autophagy process. So basically, through the autophagy process, you're getting rid of some of those fats, moving them out of the cell, and allowing this process to occur. Now lastly, there is a big increase in what is called AMPK. Now I'm not gonna go super overboard in biochem here, but AMPK is something that is released in your body whenever you're having to tap into your body's existing stores. Okay, example, whenever you have gone without eating for a period of time and your body starts to use fat that's stored or starts to use carbs that are stored, it's relying on itself and it has to increase AMPK. AMPK cascades into a bunch of other great things that encourage more fat loss and encourage a bunch of positive effects, exactly what we're looking for with fasting. So when it comes down to green tea and fasting, you probably know of Dr. Jason Fung. Now, Dr. Jason Fung is a pretty good friend of mine, and honestly, he's published some amazing articles when it comes down to intermittent fasting and long-term fasting, but he also created something known as Peak Tea Crystals. Okay, these things are really cool. I've talked about them in other videos. They're specific fasting teas. So they are formulated by Dr. Jason Fung for the very reasons that I was explaining. Okay, so the increase in AMPK, the improvements in autophagy, and the cool thing is, is these are tea crystals. Okay, so it's not like it's just a typical tea leaf. These are put into crystals, so you can just add it into even cold water or hot water, and it just mixes instantly, and you're getting all the benefits. So the cool thing is, they have a ginger form, so a ginger green tea, and then they have a matcha. So you can pick whichever one you like, but the cool thing is, it's in that crystal form, so it just mixes right with water and makes it easy. So the cool thing is, is that Dr. Jason Fung actually reformulated the matcha version. So now it's using super high quality ceremonial grade matcha with super high levels of L-theanine in it. Now, if you've seen my videos on theanine, you know that theanine helps calm you down. So that means during the fast, you're not gonna be as antsy. It's gonna be easier to abstain from food. But also, he added peppermint into it. So by adding organic peppermint, you're also getting an additional appetite suppressant with some calming properties. So it's really nice for people that are unaccustomed to the taste of matcha, which can be pretty powerful, because it has that essence of mint in it. So it makes it a little bit easier to get down. Kind of tastes like mint green tea ice cream. So super powerful stuff that's gonna help you get through your fast in a significantly easier way. So I wanna make sure that you check them out. They're down in the description. We have a special discount, again, for all of my fans or anyone that's watching this video. And they're also doing an autophagy fasting challenge in February. So you're gonna wanna check them out and keep your ear close to the ground on what they have to come here in February. So again, after you're done watching this video, check them out, special discount. You honestly don't wanna miss these. They're going to improve your fast, whether it's a long-term fast or an intermittent fast. All right, now let's move on to the fourth one, which is good old fashioned apple cider vinegar. You see, there's a lot of reasons to like apple cider vinegar, but when it comes down to fasting, it all comes down to the acetic acid side of things. There are actually some studies that found it's the acetic acid in apple cider vinegar that really has the magic. You see, acetic acid has actually been shown to improve gene expression of very specific genes that end up affecting lipogenic enzymes. So what that means is that apple cider vinegar and the acetic acid that's in it ends up turning on sort of a genetic switch to allow more fat metabolizing enzymes to appear. So we're really affecting it at the genetic level, which means that your fasting just became more powerful simply by adding that into the mix. And ACV is okay to have during your fast as far as I'm concerned. Now the other cool thing we wanna factor in with apple cider vinegar is the increase in what's called uncoupling protein one. Uncoupling protein one has really been just discovered in the last few years, or at least really investigated in a more deep sense. You see, what uncoupling protein one does is it takes white fat and converts it to brown fat. White fat is just the storage form of fat, okay? It's not cool, it doesn't do anything. It's just there in your body making it look pretty much unsightly, okay? Brown fat is all about the thermic effect. Brown fat actually has metabolic activity. It's brown because it has blood flow, so it's darker. It keeps you warm. It's actually what allows you to stay insulated in a true metabolic sense. So if we can migrate some of our white fat over to brown fat, 
we actually improve our metabolism. And uncoupling protein one is at the root of that. So that's exactly why apple cider vinegar is so powerful during a fast. And last, but certainly not least, number five is going to be utilizing a sauna during your fasting periods. Again, back to the root of trying to instill extra stress in the body. We need the stress. But fasting is more than just the stress. You see, the stress triggers what are called heat shock proteins. The whole idea behind heat shock proteins is they allow the body to sort of consolidate what needs to be taken care of. Basically, these are proteins that are released that tell the body, hey, we're under stress, so here we are as a protective mechanism to help scavenge free radicals and make it so that the body really prioritizes what it needs to do. So what's really cool is that heat shock proteins chaperone amino acids. So what that means is that it's gonna preserve your muscle mass. How does this accelerate your fast? Well, more muscle, more metabolism, which means you're gonna burn more fat during your fast. So you don't wanna lose your muscle. So heat shock proteins from fasting take amino acids and they put them to the right place. So they actually save your muscle. They make it so that the amino acids go to the muscle and actually trigger repair. That's why saunas are so powerful after a workout. So you'd wanna do your high intensity interval training, then go sit in a sauna and you have a perfect combination there. It really does just come down to trying to trigger stress. These heat shock proteins sense that there's a lot of heat, so their whole goal is to protect. They, okay, this person is definitely in a serious time of stress. Let's do what we can to protect, preserve, and make it so that there's no other harmful stuff going on. So these are like the most amazing soldiers you could possibly have in your body, but they only get activated when you're under extreme stress. So it's kind of like having the special forces that only get sent out whenever there's something that actually needs them. It's like SEAL Team 6 for your body. They go out, they scavenge free radicals, they protect your cells, they protect your house. That's what you want. But they're also going to chaperone and shuttle the amino acids to where they need to go. It's like a hostage situation that's getting taken care of. The amino acids that are being held hostage elsewhere get chaperoned. It's a really amazing metabolic war that happens in your body that actually allows you to burn more fat and feel better. Hey, as always, if you have ideas for future videos, let me know. And please, please, please help support this channel by taking advantage of the peak tea crystals that you can get down in the description below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, and thanks again for watching.